So I've continuously said it time and time again, that the aviation industry is a brutal market. If you don't have your expenses up to check, and your execution of operations is not done to the finest detail, then the airline that you operate will be engulfed by your rivals. And believe me, rival airlines are wishing that you go bankrupt. It frees up the space for them to stretch their legs, they can learn from your mistakes, and also take your profits. Now first came Air Berlin, then Monarch, then Primera, and the latest victim, Cobalt. Now Cobalt was the largest airline in Cyprus. They had a fleet of 6 A320 family aircraft, and they flew to 23 different destinations all across Europe. The airline was very well focused on connecting European destinations to one from Cyprus while offering consistently low fares. They had their maiden fly all the way back in June 2016, and up until that point, they were the second airline to be established, that's until Cyprus Airways ceased operations. Now they performed relatively well in a market that was barely untouched, and it was predicted that they would become the largest airline in that region by the summer of this year. Okay, so things were going great for the airline. They were considering ordering more aircraft, adding more routes to their network. So where exactly did it all go wrong? So basically, the airline was backed by Chinese investors. And these investors secured daily slots at London Heathrow Airport, which is something mind-blowing for such a small carrier. We all know that getting slots at London Heathrow is incredibly difficult, due to the waiting list of airlines wanting to fly there, and also due to the enormous cost in purchasing. Now earlier this month, rumours began circulating that the airline was facing cash flow problems, and there were reports that the airline hadn't paid their monthly leasing fee to an American leaser which owns two of their aircraft. They were also facing liquidity problems, due to their Chinese investors suspending future investment in the middle of China's own trade war with the US. Now there were reports that the company only had 15 million euros in the bank account, which will be used to pay their employees. Had they continued their growth, then we would be talking about them acquiring new wide-body planes. They had plans to add two A3200s to their fleet, so they could start long-haul flights to China, South Africa and also the US. The deal was meant to be finalised at the end of 2017, and for them to start flights at the end of 2018. However, nothing ever materialised from this plan. But the ironic thing is, is that Etihad seems to have a connection with all of the failing airlines these days. They had a code share agreement with the airline on services between Larnaca and Abu Dhabi. Although it wasn't a direct investment to the airline, it was an investment into the city of Larnaca, of which Etihad pulled out back in 2014. So guys, to keep it short and sweet, the airline collapsed after failing to reach a deal with potential European investors, following the decision of its Chinese investors to suspend their investment in the airline. So what should you do if you booked a flight with the airline? Well, the airline has stopped entirely, so don't bother going to the airport. You'll have to make your own arrangements, but you should call your travel insurance company because they'll most likely cover airline collapses. They also will not be offering rescue flights because they're not at all protected. However, Blue Air is offering rescue flights at a reduced price, from Larnaca to a few European cities, so be sure to check up on this if you're one of those affected. So captains, this is very sad news. It just goes to show how brutal this industry actually is, one where only the strongest survives. Now all eyes are on the industry to see which carrier is next to go down, and considering the rate at the moment, it could be any airline unfortunately. Now leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll check you captains very soon.